breath test comes again, and this is the American flag blowing in the wind. And 36 U.S. soldiers are interned here at the U.N. Memorial Cemetery in Busan. And the, the U.S. soldiers supplied 50% of the ground forces in the Korean War. 86% of the naval forces and 93% of the air forces. Also, most countries that fought under the UN flag, the United Nations flag in the Korean War, they used American equipment. Uh, the Americans supplied them their equipment. Also, the American F-86 Sabre, that was the fighter, predominant fighter jet of the Korean War. They're the reasons that the U.S. had air superiority in the Korean War. Uh, the South African Air Force as well as the Australian Air Force did amazing thing in ground support roles. Um, however, the American F-86 Sabre was the predominant fighter plane and was able to counter the MiG-15. The Australian pilots were superior to North Korean pilots. That's why they could shoot down MiGs with their F-51 Mustangs. Um, and that's why the South African pilots could as well. And both countries did shoot down MiGs with far less superior planes, uh, but very superior pilots. Um, but the, F the Australians were dominant in ground support roles in the F-51 Mustang. So, hope everybody's doing well. And also, the American General Douglas MacArthur ordered the Battle of Inchon. And the Battle of Inchon was the turning point of the Korean War. It happened on September 15, 1950. And the U.S. soldiers took Inchon with minimal difficulties. And the chances of it succeeding was 5,000 to 1. Very low chance of succeeding, but General MacArthur took the risk and ordered the U.S. Marines to land in Inchon. And the U.S. Marines won the Battle of Inchon. Also, uh, the the United States contributed over four billion dollars of aid it, to South Korea between 1950 and 1975. So God bless America. God bless these brave U.S. soldiers. Uh, thirty-six thousand, over thirty-six thousand U.S. soldiers lost their lives in the Korean War in combat. Another twenty thousand lost their lives in non-combat related deaths. So God bless these brave U.S. soldiers, and hope everybody's doing well. Take care, and thank you for listening. Bye bye.